Hello, welcome to Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Shurful. In this video, we're going to try to get an answer of a very frequently and famous question: What is the feature of software testing, or what is the feature of QA career? So we'll try to have some statistic data that will help us to define that answer as per market demand. So if you have a product and and if your product have a market demand and the based on the market demand you can easily analyze you can easily come to a solution that whether your product will have a demand in the future or not so we need some solid data you know to get that answer so through this video we'll find out that answer and based on the answer you know we'll see some recommendation okay so as we said right so we're going to find out the answer one of the very frequently asked questions of what would be the feature of qa career so we'll break down the answer you know uh, to find out the answer we have seen some statistics report like uh, as per global and domestic market you know uh, demands point of so you know we're going to break down this answer as for global demand and some few countries domestic market demand according to global market insights the global soft testing market size in 2020 it's 40 usd billion dollar so it's 40 usd billion billion dollar that's a huge number and it was the size market size in 2020 okay and then the forecast said the period between 2021 to 2027, it's a CAGR increase 7%. So what is CAG here? Okay, please do the Google. It's the it's a cumulative average defined between two years, you know, between. So if you have a year uh, 2005 and then another year is between, it's a 2000. 11 so between 2005 to 11 there is an increase rate you know they find out using a calculation you know a business calculation that's called CAG year so please google it so this is the forecast between 2021 to 2027 that it will be increased 7% so the 2027 the the value projection for the global QA market would be 60 USD billion dollar. So 60 billion dollar, that's a huge, right? So currently it's like near about 40 billion dollar. So the, the market is huge, the global market. According to gpa.com, the USA, specifically USA domestic market, how it looks like. The software tester average starting salary, it's $60,000. And the Asian software tester have the highest ever salary, which is eighty-two thousand dollar compared to other ethnics. So, Asian, you know, the tester they have a higher acceptance compared to other ethnics in US market because of you know their talent, their uh, you know uh, commitment to the work. So all those things, you know. So the, the Asian market, Asian, you know, the the tester they have a huge opportunity in the US market. And then another, uh, you know, uh, survey or statistics as per nascom.in, this is specifically for Indian testing market. So they are saying the Indian soft testing market is expected to grow at CAGR of 9.5%, which is $8.2 billion, US billion dollar by 2022. So they're expecting it will be increased you know, uh, around $8.2 billion, that specifically software testing, that's a huge. And the, given Indians, you know, uh, Indians large skill software testing talent available at competitive cost, Indian, you know, India continues to be a preferred destination for global outsourcing choice. Because of, you know, why that's, you know, the India is a huge target for for a software testing market because of their talent, because of their competitive price, you know, and their, their commitment. So 
you know it is it is a very a huge resource you know to earn the global uh, foreign currency by a you know a testing market outsourcing uh, in Indian domestic market and uh, next one it's AIUB it's an university it's called American International University in Bangladesh their domestic you know their survey they're saying their domestic market it's not huge in Bangladesh it just started uh, their community and also the testing market it just started but out of 47 company 83 percent thinks that the testing team is essential to the success of the project and they do have testing team however 21 percent do not have any dedicated testing team in their organization but they agree the necessity so they are you know the requirement the necessity of the testing you know uh dedicated testing team it's it's getting established in bangladesh market too so you know and 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 it, it there was a lots of opportunities creating up there okay so that's the the few statistics it says the demand of the software uh testing uh market in future and it's clearly it shows that the demand will be more and more right and then so we have to find some recommendation as per the demand we as so as we have seen the demand of the software testing market is rising you know rapidly in every country overall globally so according to a british company named liberia research they did a survey on 2020 and uh, they found 37 percent of it and development company would consider outsourcing as a result of covid 19. so the remote working is opening new doors for all of us but to catch this opportunity first and foremost we have to remove some of the blocking that we have some of the challenging we're facing today you know uh, so definitely the the market is huge and and getting bigger but there is a lot of challenge also in this market uh, especially you know finding the right talent the right technology all those things so here is some you know recommendation as far my point of view raise the awareness among you know practitioner to make them understand the importance of software quality assurance testing for developing high quality software through training seminar and workshop in this case all the stakeholders like from the starting from the government organization educational institution training center should work in collaboration the automation testing should get more focused by the policymaker in the government it institute and the educational institutions in 2022 catalon they did a survey on more than 3000 plus tester and they found the most common challenges in applying automation are the lack of skills and experience in tools so you know my next point would be the necessary you know uh, definitely the automation is a huge demand and and the lack of skills in automation we need to you know find out more uh, uh training and we need to supply more tools you know and uh, so that we can uh, overcome that challenges that's blocking you know and so let's talk about the next uh, uh recommendation the my my, my rec next, uh, recommendation is the necessity to have a mindset by both individual qa and organization to adopt new technology like languages more robust framework or ai or you know machine learning in test automation this is this is the upcoming uh, it's you know the challenges it's already it's, automation is a challenges but the new features within four or five years you will see the ai and machine learning will be heavily used in an uh, automation world so we have to be ready you know uh, in regards to the training in regards to materials in 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 regards you know learning uh, opportunity so that you know we we can adapt the new uh, technology so let's move on the next point so positive view and allowable budget for a qa practice pr practitioner and uh, and the tools so 
the professional you know the professionals uh, are satisfied with the software quality upon delivery but they are not equally satisfied with their QA practices and tools according to Catalan survey again we found the levels of satisfaction with the quality upon delivery almost 8 out of 10 res, you know response responses the rate was softer quality as good or better but out of 5 uh, uh, but only 5 out of 10 response they were satisfied with their QA practices and tools means you know, lots of organization they don't have they don't allow required budget for their right tools beside lack of skills you know improvement offer so those are the you know very high level some recommendations like you know we know this the opportunity it's coming up and the market is is growing uh, growing bigger and bigger so to catch those market whether you are in domestic uh, you know uh, IT field or you are thinking to catch the outsourcing market you know we have to be ready we have to prepare like in regards to the new technology in regards uh, the talent we need in regards to the skills we need all those things and to overcome all those things you know uh, we have to work together as an institution as a you know uh, we have to build some awareness program through seminar webinar all those things you know so that the, the policymaker government uh, the education institution they understand the requirement you know they can even update uh, uh, their you know uh, the the learning materials and also they allow some sufficient budget so that's all for a recommendation and that's all for today i hope it makes this clear and give you overall idea the future of testing career is not in rigs you know it is not in rigs it, it has it has a bright future but the challenge is that that you have to always think in advance uh, in regards to the new technology, in regards to learning new languages, you know, learning new tools, all those things. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot. You have a good one. Bye-bye.